Watching the best players in the game battle it out is always a treat. Unfortunately, basketball icons who played over different eras of the game never get the chance to go against each other. For perhaps the two biggest names in the history of the game, we never got the privilege of watching them face each other on the court. But in a recently discovered picture that has gone viral online, it appears though there was at least one occasion where the two shared the court together. Or should I say, two occasions. You see, this picture isn't the pickup game that many of us thought. This photo was taken in 2002 at the Michael Jordan Flight School basketball camp in Santa Barbara, California. LeBron was drafted the summer that Jordan retired, so it's not known when or where they actually participated in an open run together. But it's certainly possible that they played in a scrimmage at some point, especially when James was in high school, as he was a widely known prospect. According to some of my research, they played at a gym in the Chicagoland region called Hoops Gym. In fact, according to Maverick Carter, a well-known businessman, and to most regards, LeBron's right-hand man, LeBron definitely played in a pickup game in the Shy City. You're saying when he was 16, you guys would go to the Hoops Gym, the famous Hoops Gym in Chicago, and play with a bunch of pros. Tell me about, about that. I was coaching his AAU team, and we were playing in a tournament in Chicago. LeBron was playing fantastic. In the crowd was a guy named Greg Ryan, who worked for Tim Grover. And we started talking, he started telling us he worked at this gym called Hoops. I, I had no idea what the hell Hoops was. And he started telling us about it, and he works for Tim Grover, and it's the gym. And so we went over that spring and took LeBron, and we were kind of just like in awe, literally like in awe. It was like, it was like this basketball heaven. It was like <laughs> all the pros would come in, like Antoine Walker, Ron Artest, and Jamal Crawford, and all the pros would be, and Paul Pierce was there, and Penny Hardaway, Stackhouse. They would start rolling into this gym. It was like a basketball heaven. They'd work out, and then they'd play. they just like play pickup for yeah. like an hour. And at the time, Michael was retired. And Michael Jordan. Yeah, Michael Jordan was retired. And, and LeBron would roll into the gym. You know, it, they would lift and then they would play. Tim would train all the guys, oh and a couple of trainers would help him, and then they would just play pickup, like to games to seven. Tim would let him in at the end of the run. And so when he was 16, he played a couple pickup games against like Paul and Jerry and Twan. And Twan was fantastic. He'd talk a lot of shit and play and do the <laughs> shimmy and, and run. And he was out there playing. You know, if you can pass, you can play and he could pass and he had the size. Considering LeBron's talent level, it's likely that he shared the court with many stars leading up to his NBA debut, Jordan included. Now, if we can only find that footage, we might have a glimpse as of how things went down. Wait a minute, we do have a few hints from Metal World Peace. You know what I'm saying? Finley was in there, Stackhouse was in there, a young LeBron was in there. Yeah. This Oof. is when I used to be coming. I told him I used to come to the gym. Was was Scotty and them boys. Yeah. That was when LeBron was a sophomore and Antoine brought him that time. Oh, that's what happened? Yeah. He was a sophomore. Was, yeah. He had the glasses still then, the little joints that go around his neck. Wow, yeah. He, he yeah. was, you know, and. Maverick brought him. Maverick brought him, really? Maverick, 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 was, with him that? Maverick yeah. was, just, was, was a little older than him, but he hadn't wow. been to college yet. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was Twan there. Twine brought him out there. That's I, why I he was there. I gave him a on fast break. He was coming, he was cooking, he was cooking. He couldn't, nobody can guard him, LeBron James. Oh. He couldn't guard him. I'm like, I'm getting him he's embarrassing us. <laughs> he's coming out full speed, LeBron James. Boom. I lay him on the floor. He get up and start cooking more. He's just tough. He's about, he was about 225 at that time. Mm. But I remember him just being tough. You know, and um, so Jordan, I was, I was denying. What we do know is this. There definitely was a pickup game, including Baby Bron and MJ. And I'm about 99.9% .9 sure it happened at the Hoops Gym in Chicago, Illinois. In fact, there's articles on who was all there. LeBron and Jordan definitely faced off against one another, as Jordan did with new players on the come up all the time. All right, one on one to three. The likelihood of NBA players getting whacked on the court by a high schooler is actually more common than one may think. LeBron's had some experiences with facing high school players himself, which was reported they recommended confiscating the tapes. Steph Curry as well had his own little run-in with the high schooler. The list goes on and on. Do I believe LeBron gave Jordan buckets? You better believe he did. No doubt. But I also believe Jordan did what he would do to any 15 or 16 year old. At the end of the day, LeBron showed up and did his thing. As for footage, I'm pretty sure it's out there somewhere. But if they did catch LeBron doing something like this to MJ, then most definitely the tapes have been burned. Witness.